Hello and welcome back to Pillars. We're just about to take a bath and get some information about, uh, oh, Udin? I think Udin. Uh, about, about uh, well, well, at Let's least for Seraphim. We don't really know what we're gonna get. Please. Let me to mine water. Yeah. Looking for Romano. You're Udin, right? We heard you know where we can find Romano. Romaro. Oh, you poxy old salt. Spill what you know before we spill your guts. Seraphim, chill. Seraphim. She smiles, an expression both sad and kind. Romaro described you pointedly. He told me that you would come where you in danger. Danger? Nay, not I. I do seek him, though. And I feel that he needs me. Feel it in the deep depths of my furry fun sack. If you care for him, you'll be telling me what you know. He bade me not tell anybody of his plans, ye included. He's left this area. A fear to the danger he fishes on those near to him. She sighs, a long pain sound accompanied by events. Uh, please tell us, my friend Udin, he loves Romaro like a father. Yes. He's the nearest thing I got to kin. Why didn't he trust me? He did trust you. He trusted you wholly. I'll tell you. And trust you to con best what to make of the conning. Romaro treated me as galleon for mine clipper. A stuggy trade, surely. But he insisted that he needed the speed. I can't tell you what he intends. But he set sail for Sayuka, intending to replenish there. That's everything I con. For whatever good it does you. He gave up the sorcerer? And for what? An elven clipper? Makes as much sense as Doug's on a drake cap. He'd be easy catchings for any freebooter after his eye. Who's hunting Romara besides Ma and I? Strange that your good friend is trying so hard to avoid you. Seraphim blinks, nose twitching, his ears angle slightly back. Surely thinks he's protecting me. Stubborn as I seem, Captain Watcher. Romara makes me look the dabbler. Uh, we should hurry to see Yuka. Aye, oh, Cap, you've read my mind. And here with me thinking that were my skill in particular. Uh, thank you mightily, lass. Enjoy the baths. Soft travels. The wages of war catch you up soon or sign. Damn. These two people are hard are harder to understand. Come on, Seraphin. Th that pirate slang. And the uh, Irish elf. <laughs> so we need to go to the water shapers. So we're going to Sayufa? Or what is that? Sayuka. I don't know where that is. Uh, it It is... We don't know. It's Sayuka. We don't know wh where that is. And it doesn't show in the quest log. And we grew by location, so... You really should. And for some reason we... We couldn't just uh, quickly go to the Water Shapers Guild last time, so... What the hell is going on here? Are you guys closed down for business? Maybe they don't like me that much. I I I did kill some guys. Actually, they don't know that I killed a lot of water shapers in the docks. Perhaps they were just doing some good, but I still don't care about the gullet. Still, I I do want to work uh, out a solution for the gullet, but damn. Oh, are those Naga? Hey, come, guys! We got some good loot here. Exceptional skirts. What? No one knows about this. I'm the first one to enter the Border Shapers Guild. Seems like they were murdered by Nagas. You know. There's gonna be a story of all the water shapers got killed, but my story is actually gonna be slightly different. All the water shapers got killed, and they were naked when they got killed. Perhaps got looted after, but you just don't know. You just don't know. Like, so it's kind of weird, right? Oh, what? Well, we, I think we found the ladder. So we're by. Myru, for what did you send me away to meditate on the fourth form in 
charted waters only to summon me back to Kahanga fleet. A bomb must have gone off in Serpent's Crown, what of the revelation, if not black powder. The interruption is a setback. I trust that whatever happens next will propel our people forward. I will sail to Perikis Resolve into the waters, where I suspect you need me most and await your orders. I hope that the rumors carried upon the waves are to be trusted. I would tell you to send one cause of my love, but she knows that it is hers. Tell her that she needs only snap her fingers and I'll be her storm again. Daraku, master water shaper. Ooh, Daraku was the lover boy of Wonkaza. Okay. So seems like Daraku was doing a little Colonel bit of water Florida, shaping for the queen. A situation in the guild hall. No way. The water shaper glances over his shoulder, his chest rising and falling with deep breaths. All is under control, I say. But the building is closed until Myru cleans up the mess below. Hmm, one guy's a send me to speak with Myru. You call this under control? I just waded through a pool of blood. Ikira. Naga blood. He raises a finger to correct you. Well, all the naked bodies back to differ. Naked kin, kin bodies. Naga swam in from the waterways of our sanctum. We pressed back until they fled underground. Then Myru gathered her forces for a stand at Pariki's tomb. I am to guard the staircase while she routes the last of them. E Kira, but Myru is fierce for her years. He grimaces as another deep rumble shakes the earth under your feet. I hope Myru leaves something for me. Why are they attacking the guild? Why haven't you summoned help from the queen? We are water shapers. Onikaza knows we can walk over a few snakes. Clearly not. Myru, though. I say she would not turn down reinforcements. He eyes you up and down and nodding as the idea takes root. What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay. What's causing those tremors? <sighs> not snakes, I say. Kanu frowns, worrying the back of his head. Unless they brought a battering ram. They have. Why are they attacking the guild? I do not know. With great purpose, they throw their bodies back to Rikuhu's bowels. I say this is personal. They strike with anger, not conviction. You seem to be pretty nonchalant about this. Almost every single water shaper is dead. Situation. I hope Myra leaves something for me. Ha! <laughs> I say you will have to run fast. She could cut through Naga like a harpoon through blubber. I will remain and dispatch any snakes who slither past you. Good hunting. What? Uh, sure, let's go into the guild ruins. I guess that we didn't explore everything down here. I believe there's one room that's still locked. All right. Yep, I already checked out this place earlier. Oh, what's going on there? Naga warrior. Can we just blow them up? I might need to completely reconsider my spell choices. Considering that I have three casts per level. I can afford to be more um, wasteful. Sure. Hey, Naga Warrior. Oh, Wait, what? Why do you use that? Let's not do that. Oh, look at that! Guildmaster Myru, not having 
everything under complete control. Who would have thought? How crazy is that? Oh, like a warrior, you want to die? Let's go. See that issue. Why not? Yeah, but these Nagas have nothing. Can do. Am I supposed to kill some more Nagas? Yeah, the Nagas are everywhere. I just freeze the guys in the back. Rest in peace, everybody. Are they gonna die in the back? They really should. Probably I should restart the game. Nice flight. Did it work? Did we throw in the... Freezing pillar? Don't do it. Well, certainly there now. Just go back. Did we find some kind of a... Uh, Sword by time acquired? That doesn't matter. Let's keep exploring. Carefully. Are there any more Nagas around here? Uh oh. We did explore. Find something. Wait. Okay. Guildmaster Myris is here. Sure. Oh, it would be stealing. But it's garbage, so it... The guildmaster lifts her gaze to meet yours, her eyes struggling to focus. She's been slashed and stabbed numerous times, and her robes are still red with blood. Rest in peace! Last wishes? Too many. Even for me. She sputters a morsel of blood, but still manages a uh, red brim smile. We have to get you out of here. Monk has a send me to find you, but I think you need a healer first. No time for that, I say. What? <coughs> the rod of the deep. Oh, I've lost it. Taken. You'll need to. My uh. cuffs, spinning up blood. For every word she struggles to voice, her breath gets progressively shallower. <coughs> find the rod. Get through the stone door by the entrance. Oh, by the way, I have that rod just on me right now. Hold up the rod of Deep Hunter. This is what you're looking for? Her eyes widen and she smiles even as blood dribbles from the side of her mouth. Like, if this was a more realistic situation, then I would just... And if I had the same inventory I had I have right now, I would just like... Rodo, what? I, I probably don't have that. <laughs> like, and I find it like years later, or maybe when I'm just uh, unloading it uh, to a merchant, like, oh yeah, this is what she was wait uh, talking about. It doesn't matter now. You want like five coppers for it? Deal. Wards, failing. Hurry before it escapes. Wards? I haven't seen any wards escape. You're already gone. Find peace in the beyond. Escape? What is going to escape? Uh, pitied. Is Ngati, Lady of Lament, as the pearl orb of the, of the, of the heavens. She wheezes as she struggles to get the words out. It doesn't sound like she's even dressing you any longer. The guildmaster eyes glaze over and she falls silent. Oh. Oh, we're gonna it loot to you. Would it be awkward if someone just, uh, stripped your corpse? The one you died? Hey, good Mr. Myru. The wheel. How it tugs at me. Ikira. And how bright you look. 
Myri's attention snaps toward a distant speck of light, but she shakes out of it to remain in the moment. At least in death, I can complete a thought. She grimaces down at her swiftly diminishing body. Also, someone just... Com well, I don't know. Probably we can't get away with this one. Well, you're naked. Uh, You don't need stuff anymore, I guess. My rod and the words of Pariki's devotion will open the way to the inner sanctum, past the sealed door. Mayru closes her eyes and concentrates. Pitied is Ngati, Lady of Lament. As the pearl orb of the heavens crosses her view, her eyes well with tears, as constant as rain. But the moon's skyward journey continues apace, the lover's affection as ephemeral as fingers touching. Mai opens her eyes again. She nods as her form grows indistinct. Akira, but you retrieved the rod already. She nods toward your pack with approval. Yeah, I told you already. You must strengthen the wards, no matter what it tells you. I don't know. Like, do you just find it along some some, some snakes, or how? Thank you, Mairu. Rest well. Her mouth moves again, emitting no sound. As she fades from sight, she raises her hand to point toward the entrance of the sanctum. We need to get in here, right? Sure. As you approach the door, the carved stone flashes with ethereal light. You feel a faint, salty breeze gusting from an unseen source. Touch the door with the Rod of Deep Hunter. The door reacts at once. A stone panel shifts aside to reveal a circular dial engraved with symbols. This would appear to be a locking mechanism requiring a precise combination. Uh, study the symbols around the dial. Brushing aside the layer of dust reveals a circular dial of pictograms. Though you could not guess their relevance or rev uh, relevation. Re oh, what the hell? Relevance or relation to each other, you recognize the symbols themselves. So it's uh, two people are just uh, are going for a handshake, and uh, a cloud that actually is a spike trap on top. We have some kind of a fancy cookie plus uh, an anglerfish. First is a full moon, it's light beaming down on Eora. Okay. The next is a Huana symbol of Ondra, classically depicted with the head of an anglerfish in her aspect of as Nagati. The next is a pair of hands reaching out for each other, their fingertips just barely making contact. Ooh. And and the last is a the rain falling powerfully and in ex inexorably inexorably oh yeah flipped around that actually makes a lot more sense oh yeah fair enough <laughs> uh begin to manipulate the dial press the dial you hear a grating me medical mechanical clunk of stone tumblers settling into place behind the door. Let's go... Whoa, clockwise? Press the dial. Clockwise again? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, we're gonna press the moon. We're gonna press Ondra. No, 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 the rain. And I went clockwise. So we went with the hands, that's not correct. We're gonna go with the ship, we're gonna press dial. And we're gonna go with the hands. And done. What?
Okay. Moon Rain. Fish. Moon Rain Fish. We know that. Hand is not correct. Um, moon Rain Fish Moon. Moon Rain Fish Moon. Um, you kidding me? Rain? Moon rain fish moon rain Fish again No, it's resetting What the hell moon Rain Fish Moon Rain hands. No. What the hell, game? Moon. Rain. Fish. Moon. Rain. Moon. What the hell? Moon? Rain? Fish? Moon? Rain? Moon? I... I should start making notes. Moon again? You can't click on the same thing. Uh... Rain? No, that's not it. Moon? Rain, fish, moon, rain, moon, uh, high five. You hear ch clattering and Whirring as the dial recedes into the door. There's a low rumble as the doorway opens inward, revealing a dark, narrow tunnel beyond. What the fuck? Why was this a thing? Why can't I use just my mechanical skill to figure this out? <sighs> Screw you, game. Travel through the passage. The air beyond the passage is humid, reeking of uh, stagnant water and something else, something old, which raises the hairs on the back of your neck. As you take your first step, the an ear-splitting roar rises in volume and echoes down the passage, shaking uh, loose the surrounding rock. Go through anyway. You navigate the dark, narrow tunnel, pressing your shoulders together to fit the passage. Oh, hey, dragon. As the massive upheaval of water settles, the air thickens with oppressive humidity. It takes a moment for you, your eyes to adjust before you can make sense of the shape that breached from the depths. This would be a great fishing story. Ishii, down. This is no time to pick a fight. Of course I know you can take him. Galloway's fucking spear. Right there, be a right bonny beast in and off. Holy God, but it's beautiful. And I'll bet smart as a whip and just as mean. Have you come to deliver me from this prison of my own making? The dragon flashes his nostrils and glares at you. Dragon! Then I take it you have not. <laughs> and the city has forgotten me. The heavy sigh fills the room with a scent of brine. I am Skirilophus, guardian of the isles. He slaps his tail against the floor. You ever consider a nickname? Sky narrows his eyes at Eder. Just give it some thought, is all I'm saying. I'm Watcher, the captain of the Defiant. I take it you're the one causing the whole city to shake? You do not see chains around me. 
but I am confined all the same. One by one, every link shatters. The dragon stares at the words around the prison. You can only be here for one reason. You serve the Huana. Well, that's pretty generic, yeah, but I, I guess. This prison is built on a foundation of their lies. What are you talking about? You stand in the sanctum of the water shapers. Those who make parlor tricks of Ngati's art. Sure. An art in decline. The Huana Covenant has failed. With each grain of sand surrendered to outsiders, Ngati draws her favor away from her chosen people. What covenant is that? One struck in a different time. When the gods showered devotion on Huana, the guild hides how their acolytes struggle. Their ancestral forms no longer respond as they once did. Soon, there will be no water shapers to remember them. I like what I'm hearing so far. Daughter of the West, what I intend for the Huana is nothing to what I will inflict upon your fleet. Whoa, we're going with threats now? The dragon huffs a breath of steamy air. Maya only narrows her eyes and shifts her weight. When their mighty talent went into decline, I gave the Huana the strength to raise the very sea against our enemies. For my generosity, they bound me to this chamber by my soul. That doesn't sound particularly nice. And now the dead fire dies in my absence. The luminous Audra shrieks in agony, calling out for a guardian. Read the dragon's soul. Your soul is stuck here? Let me have a let me take a look. You are a watcher. Of all the kith who could have entered this chamber. How intriguing. Submerging in the dragon's soul feels at first disorienting, like pursuing the, the stack of a vast uh, library. The energy and vibrance that should color his soul is gray and worn. From the shadows, a dark, formless thing reaches out to you in desperation. The wards around the stone floor uh, drag the essence down and disperse its energy elsewhere to the water shapers, students of Nekataka. As it touches you, the weight of the prison is like an anchor. You withdraw from the sensation, feeling shaky and depleted. You know, I mean, I get it. Like, if what you're saying is correct, then I'm totally with you, but... Killing them all won't solve it, I suppose. Even though it kind of feels nice. I'm not sure I believe you, Bond or not. What do you plan on doing about it? I, I looked into your soul, it's true. Believe what you will. My duty to the archipelago is all that matters. So is mine. And it involves aiming a cannon between your eyes. <gasps> Would you give me Tangaloa's kiss? I might welcome it. Tangaloa? Freedom comes like the tide, and the dead fire heeds my call. I sense a rod among your belongings. Sky narrows his eyes and watches you carefully. My gift to Periki, my covenant with the Huana. Another broken promise. It made the enchantments of this prison and can destroy them. It can set me free. The dragon lashes its tail in eager, repetitive circles. One cause I would have me killed if I set you free. There is no other one. Is uh, there has to be another way? Uh, I have questions about your you first, dragon. Like, are you dangerous? What happens to your captors if I if I do as you ask? As, that's a good question. The Huana have chartered their doom. I will not mourn their passing. You see, but a lot of people are just not in in this in on this slavery thing. You just you see what I'm saying here is that two wrongs will not make a right. You know, you were 
whatever happened. Seems like whatever happened was an injustice back then. But if you just do, if you're just willing to, if you're planning to kill a lot of people, then I can't let you go. That's a problem. Neither will I speed it along while they stand against the foreign tide. Neither will I speed it along, so you will not kill them. That's a pity. I was about to suggest we make a deal. My concerns are greater than your petty squabbles over land. Letting you go de deprives the water shapers of a useful asset. The Huana will struggle. If they are worthy, they will endure. Those who are wise will remember their covenant with ancient Ngati. Do I get something out of the arrangement? Seems like either we leave him trapped. I don't know. Do I get something out of the arrangement? Your ship will sail with grateful protection. That is a boon without equal in the dead fire. I have some questions, Dragon. I will tolerate your curiosity. What if we we excise the imprisoned portion of your soul from the rest? No, my soul is not for the taking. Not by you, or any of the outsider spirit thieves. No one's taking your soul, we're just letting most of you free. Isn't that what you want? How then? You have a plan for this mad scheme of yours? I like how the attack is always an option. I just take a closer look at the war stones for a start. He lets out a distasteful hiss. Very well. I give you one chance. Time has weakened the wards enough that I can leave this cell without you. There will be a debt of pain that I have no wish to incur. Betray me and I will summon as many waves of Naga as it takes to shatter this prison. The dragon unclenches his jaw and watches you in silence. What is this? Raised war stone stands out from the watery floor of the dragon's prison. The runes engraved along its surface glow with pale light. Like the double the I, I do make those mistakes as well, but on Reddit posts and whatnot then, but you know I guess they, they didn't notice it. Inspect the war stone. Enchantments coursing through the stonework keep the dragon tethered to this spot and siphon energy from his soul. The spells of imprisonment look more recent. The siphoning enchantment merely sips at the dragon's essence and disperses it elsewhere. You think it could be used to store the essence, enough to last decades or longer if used responsibly. That's not a long-term solution. You can tell nothing else about the enchantments. The ward flashes, causing the rod of Deep Hunter to tremble in your pack, as if the two shared a s some arcane affinity for each other. Try to siphon enough of the dragon's essence to empower the guild, then break the imp <laughs> Use the rod of the Deep Hunter to disable the enchantments. I think the dragon needs to die. I don't know. It could be use. It could be useful against Theotas. Like, let's leave it be. Let's talk. I make no promises to cooperate with your animancy. I games. still wanted to uh, talk. Now, now I'm in the position of. Is th these are all <clears throat> final solutions. Either we let the dragon free. Um, so I see like trapping the, the dragon, not a long term solution. Um, siphoning some of its soul and le letting it free could be dangerous, not a long term solution. So use the rod of the deep hunter to disable the enchantments. Well, that's technically a long term solution. Because uh, the Amana, or that Huana, uh, lose access to 
this this special resource they got so used to having water shaping so basically it's uh let the dragon free let the dragon free and give the huana a little bit of dragon juice for at least the time being or trap the dragon but that's probably gonna be a, a temporary measure Try to siphon enough of the dragon's essence to empower the guild, then break the imprisoning ward. The enchantment slips through your fingers in spite of its advanced age and depleted stage. Clearly someone built this prison to resist any potential meddling. Oh boy. So we don't have much of a choice. Either we try to trap the dragon, we can try to attack the dragon, What about these ones? Hmm. I can disable enchantments, but can we really trust this dragon? I don't know. Tough choices. So they trapped this dragon, potentially dangerous dragon, and actually managed to turn his power into theirs. So I can't really... And although it can be considered some kind of a ultimate slavery, and I definitely... Do we just try to... Can I just attack the dragon? I think that's gonna be it. I think we need to kill the dragon. But we might need to give it a shot as well. I think it's just not right. See, I don't trust the dragon, but I don't trust the Huana either. Let's try to disable the enchantments. I can feel the weight of this pit diminishing around me. Do not stop now. Patience, I'm getting to it. The next ward. Make haste. Can I re enable it? I can't interact with it anymore. Disable the enchantments. Okay, we're gonna bust out the dragon, then kill him. Just fair fight. Then we're gonna have a talk with him once he thinks he's free. A sky blinks down at you and rolls his shoulder as if for the first time. The burden of this prison is lifted. I will return to the beloved Artra. This guy flexes his claws and lets out an exultant bellow. As long as you remember who helped you, will you consider showing mercy against those who wronged you? Mercy? Only for those who showed mercy to me. The rest... He splits his jaws into a lethal grin. Should your hopes darken on the high seas, you will feel a welcome chill as my shadow passes over your deck. Depend on it. Roaring with triumph, Sky aims his body at the rocky ceiling and takes off. Sky beats his wings, lifting his massive form above the ground of his water prison. He stretches open his jaws and roars. Ensuing blast follow blowing uh, out of out the top of his prison, exposing it to the sky above. For the first time in untold years. Natural light floods the interior of the chamber. He snaps his wings a second time, flying through the exit with a wild abandon, tilting at reckless, unpracticed angles as he builds incredible speed. When he emerges, shrieks of horror and dismay grow in volume. Moments later, as he passes out of view, you hear an explosion of splintered wood, upheaved water and incredible devastation on the southwestern corner of the island. 
I have a feeling maybe Von Kaza didn't want this. Uh, wait, what is this? What? Who's storing stuff next to this guy? Sure. I guess it's time to go back to Bon Kaza and tell her that we busted out the dragon. Perhaps she won't be too happy about that. We can't go back to Arkhamir. We just haven't finished the mission yet. Akanu, you wanna die? As the last water bon shaper? Kaza will want your report, I say. Yeah, I, I, I suspect. Have known we could not keep a dragon forever. What happens to, for example, Takehu's ability now? Because uh, will he stop being a druid? That would be curious. I, I would be curious to uh, know what the hell is going to happen to him. Maybe he's going to be forced it into another class now. I don't know. That's kind of curious. Maybe he's just that good that he's a druid without uh, Sky's uh, power. Yeah, we gotta go back to Serpent's Crown. Actually, in the palace. Serpent's Crown Palace. Kahanga Palace. Kahanga Palace Rooftop. Yeah, Kahanga Palace Rooftop. That's where Wonkaze is. And we still need to return a bunch of uh, bounty missions. We still have to go to the Brass Citadel. And we have to go to Queen's Birth as well. That's where the ship is departing with a bunch of hopefuls. I don't really trust the dragon to be a guardian of, of anything, but... I suppose the safe... Safe approach is just killing the dragon. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.